Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yes, I am back with yet more information about this annoying Weeble 2 and the whole transmitter and the app and all that kind of stuff. And here's what I've got for you. A little backstory. Over this past weekend, I ended up getting my Freewell uh, magnetic variable ND kit or whatever, you know, the big kit. And my step up rings came in Saturday morning and I thought, all right, I'm gonna go out and test this stuff and see what it all looks like. So I, I went, picked up the package, came back, opened everything. I even did an unboxing and all that kind of stuff. Got it all set up and I thought, you know what? Let's do something different. So I hooked it all up to the Weeble 2 and you know, the, while I was waiting in the morning, I charged everything up. So everything was 100% charged, got it all put together, balanced, so on and so forth. And then I decided to go someplace different. So I ended up going to this park that, that I had been to before, but hadn't been there in a while. Anyway, so I'm walking around in, in piles of leaves, traipsing my way back into this little spot that has a nice picturesque scene that has a lot of sky, but a lot of woods and a little bit of grass in the valley. And I thought, okay, this will be perfect for me to do this because I'll get a lot of different conditions and I can really play with these filters and, and try them all out. Did that happen? Nay, it did not happen. Why? Because I absolutely could not get this frickin' Weeble 2 and the Transmitter AI and the Sony A7C to all play together. Nothing worked. Couldn't get a picture on the screen of the Weeble 2, couldn't get a picture on the app, couldn't get anything to work, and couldn't figure out why. Because nothing had changed. The only thing that, that transpired was two or three weeks worth of time because I've been so busy with my day job that I didn't have time to do any filming really and, and I wasn't gonna hook all this stuff up. But here I was standing in the middle of the woods trying to get it all to work. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know that the monkey does not like that kind of shit when things just inadvertently stop working and there's no reason for it. And I get very smashy. I have was, and I say this a lot, but I was so close to picking up the freaking tripod by the bottom of the legs and taking this entire setup and slamming it into a tree repeatedly. That's how frustrated I was because there was no reason for it. No reason whatsoever, couldn't figure it out. The entire day was shot. I couldn't use any of the footage that I, that I, that I shot that day because I would have had to have bleeped the entire audio because all I did was swear and scream and rant like a nut. So I went home, my whole day was shot, I was pissed off, and I couldn't figure out why. I was like, all right, I need to not look at this now. I just, I need to not even deal with it. So I put the gimbal back down on the floor, put everything away, and said to hell with it, I'm not gonna dick away. Just, nothing is gonna come from this except more frustration, and I got other shit to do. And I had looked at some videos over the past few days, and there isn't anything out there on the Weeble 2. It's all on the older stuff, like the Weeble S. So it doesn't pertain because the Weeble S isn't the Weeble 2, and the transmitter for the Weeble S is not the same transmitter that you have to have for the Weeble 2 in order to transmit your image and use the app and see everything on screen and, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, like it's been very frustrating for me. Now, that's kind of the story of my channel. A lot of the stuff that I put up on is sort of after the fact, not not too much early adoption shit, because a lot of times I just wait. But most of my videos that talk about stuff like this have come about because there's nothing else out there and it frustrates me. So I go out and buy what I want to figure out and then I figure it out and I make a video about it. Here's the message of this video. If you want to use the Zune Weeble 2 with the transmitter AI and a Sony A7C, here's how you're gonna have to do it to get it to work properly. As I sat here behind the entire setup, looking at everything, not getting it to work again, someone said, put your phone into airplane mode. Tried that, didn't work. Nothing worked, still couldn't get an image, but for a brief millisecond, it popped up, then it went away, and it keeps telling me that you have to connect to the transmitter in order to get you know, a, a vision of what you're doing. And I hadn't, you know, wasn't getting like pissed off, but I was still frustrated because I'm like, all right, nothing works. I looked at the back of the screen and I thought, hmm, the entire time I was filming and ranting about the problem, I kept saying, I don't understand because I haven't changed anything. Nothing's changed. 
it, it just a couple of weeks had passed and I just hadn't used it. It was charged. You know, the, what the hell? But then when I looked at my settings, I realized, okay, something did change. I did change a setting because I wanted to test these filters and put them through their paces. I decided to switch from my normal 1080 to 4K. When I had the 20 millimeter lens on there, and I also tried my 40 millimeter lens earlier today too, and it didn't work. It was almost like it was blowing up the image and you could only see me at the very bottom corner of the screen. And I'm like, what the hell? Why is it doing that? And I thought, Wait, is it because I, I programmed a button to do clear image zoom? Is it on clear image zoom and what's going on? Couldn't figure that out. So when I tried it with the 40 millimeter, I mean, you could only get like my eyeball in the scene. And I thought to myself, really, could that be it? Could it be because I went from 1080 to 4K? That'd be stupid. That's not indicated anywhere that you can't use 4K because most people, other than schlubs like me, that are using this gimbal are probably shooting in 4K. So I switched it from 4K, 100 megabits, 24 frames a second, back down to 1080, 24 frames a second, 50 megabits. Boom, everything fell into place. Started getting connection. Every, because it was saying that you couldn't connect. Now, boom, immediately, like in front of me, the gimbal connected to the transmitter AI, which then connected to the app, which then allowed me to see the image on both my phone through the app and on the monitor on the freaking Weeble 2. And I thought to myself, you've got to freaking be kidding me. Explain that to me, Zune, how you can have all this expensive equipment work in 1080. Now, most people will tell you, you've got to shoot in 4K, you've got to shoot in 4K, you know, and I'm one of those people that's just like, the hell do I have to shoot in 4K for? It's just usually me doing this in my office or my studio or walking around the woods or in my Forerunner. What do I need to have 4K for? So I never use it. Now that I can't use it with this whole thing, that pretty much cements the fact that I'm not going to shoot in 4K. Not that I would have continued to do it anyways. I just wanted to test it to see these how these filters work, which is kind of a dumb thing because I know I can test it just as easily in 1080. But I thought, ooh, 4K cinematic, well, you know, dynamic range, we'll see how it works. Well, okay, this just cements it. I'm gonna say it again. If you are using the Zune Weeble 2 with the transmitter AI and a Sony A7C with everything all updated, firmware's updated, everything's good to go. Doesn't matter which lens it is because I've done it with the 20 millimeter and the 40 millimeter Sony's. If you're using that equipment, you cannot use 4K. You have to shoot in 1080, otherwise nothing will work. Riddle me that, Batman. I don't, I don't know why. I'm not an engineer. I haven't figured all this stuff out as to why that could be, but I have at least figured out that that's the truth of it. So I'm gonna say it for a third time. If you're shooting with a Zoom Weeble 2 and a Sony A7C, and you're using the transmitter AI, if you wanna be able to use this stuff properly so that it works and you can see an image and you can track yourself and all the, the bells and whistles of why you spent thousands of dollars on this crap in the first place, you cannot shoot in 4K. You have to change it and shoot in 1080p. There you go. I just saved you hours of frustration or thousands of dollars if you decide that you're gonna use this and you can't shoot in 4K and that just pretty much blows it for you, then I just saved you a ton of money too. Hopefully, somebody will find this video and figure out that there's some setting or there's some reason why that is and how you can fix it. And I'm not talking about doing some kind of crazy ass workaround. I'm talking about Zune fixing that stupid shit and making it work so that it works in 1080, 720, 4K, it doesn't matter, it should work. If it works with the camera and you spend thousands of dollars on all this special equipment with all the right cables and all that crap, it should work. It doesn't matter what you've got it set to. Hopefully I've helped somebody out and I've kept you from going through the frustration and anger that I went through and that you didn't smash your equipment because it didn't work properly and you couldn't figure it out. And that's all I've got for you today. I just wanted to share that with you. Now, this is the second time I shot the video because the first time I had freaking the TV going and of course it was playing Top Gun and, and I started re-watching the video and I was like, Jesus, everybody's just gonna be watching Top Gun. So had to redo it. 
pay attention to your background. All right, so once again, now I've been connected all this time because you remember when I did my other video, I was frustrated because it disconnected after 30 to 45 seconds. Well, I've been connected the entire time and this is the second time I've shot the video. Once I got everything set correctly, it all works just fine. It works the way it should and the monkey's happy and you should be too. So that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. And remember, kids, forward and up.